I'm the one who miscounts. This battle proposes switching to a 13 month calendar, which is not a new idea because it dates back to the early 20th century. But why should we switch to a 13 month calendar? Some claim it is simpler, but as you will soon learn, that is not exactly the case. A calendar is a way of measuring time by dividing it to days, weeks, months and years. The majority of the world uses the Gregorian calendar, which defines the year as the time it takes Earth to make a full orbit around its star the Sun. In the past, some civilizations decided to count the Moon's orbit around Earth instead, making their months 29.5 days long on average. It takes one day or 24 hours for Earth to spin around its axis, and 365 days to make a full revolution around the Sun. But not exactly, because scientifically it takes Earth exactly 365 days, 5 hours, 49 minutes and 12 seconds to complete its orbit around the Sun, meaning we have an additional 0.242 Two, two days. So what do we do with that extra time? Do we pretend like it wasn't there? If we did that, our calendar would slowly drift out of sync with the seasons once those days accumulate. The Gregorian calendar offers a solution to this by adding an extra day better known as the leap day every four years, except for century years like 1900 that aren't divisible by 400. This clever system keeps our calendar aligned with Earth's orbit to within 26 seconds per year. The current calendar is based based on the Roman one, which had months of varying lengths due to political reasons. Fun fact, instead of always checking your phone, there is a short poem you could memorize to know the days of every month. 30 days have September, April, June and November. All the rest have 31, except for February alone which has 28 days clear, and 29 each leap year. Now that's out of the way, let's talk about this 13 months calendar. Since all months have 28 days, multiplying that by 13 gives us 364, meaning we are 1.2422 days short of a solar year. To amend for this, the people in support of the 13 months calendar suggested an extra day as a holiday at the end of the year, which is called year day and doesn't belong to any week. This is of course necessary to keep the order of days and weeks in check. As for the 0.2422 days, this calendar would follow the leap year system by inserting an extra day in the leap year but keeping it unnamed to preserve the order of days. Yeah, this feels weird but also unnecessary. Switching to a 13 month calendar would create problems in every system on the planet. Most nations prefer stability over major changes to the calendar, especially since it is completely unneeded. Lunar months actually average 29.53 days, not 28, so this calendar doesn't really align itself with the cycle of the moon. But most importantly, having 13 months instead of 12 will make you pay more rent and bills, and no one wants that. 